Hey Pisces, thank you for checking out my channel for Love of Water Tarot. I'm going to get bring us a future prediction for love. Again, this is going to be for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you're cross-watching for a Pisces, it could definitely resonate from your perspective. Feel free to flip it. Um, if the messages do rec uh, resonate for you, my beautiful baby sharks, make sure you give me the like, comment, subscribe, and a share. And if you're interested in booking me for a private reading, my email information is provided in the description box below. All right, for the baby sharks, for the Pisces spirit, this is gonna, I'm, I'm going to try to predict, right? So let's see what's coming towards us in love, spirit. This is about love, right? This is your person or who you're thinking of or what you may have to look forward to or to keep your eyes open for. Again, it is general, so it won't resonate for every baby shark. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share if it resonates for you, though. All right, for the Pisces, what is coming towards us in love, spirit? What can we predict? What? Oh, the will of fortune. All right, that's major. Arcana's there. To be dealing with a fixed sign or a Sagittarius here. But the, the Wheel of Fortune is all about uh something that's destined and faded, right? Something karmic coming in, right? Or going out. Five of Pentacles. Okay. I don't know why I feel like there could be some reversal of fortune here, right? Something that eluded you, Pisces, or something that was a or, or someone could be coming back around. It could be the energy of what's what goes around comes around too. Let me see what else we get for this in Pisces. Somebody could be getting some sort of karma, right? This could be something about what goes around, comes around. Put yourself where you go. Oh, Queen of Cups. Okay, there we are, Pisces. There's the, there's the Queen of Cups there. Two of Wands. Okay. Could definitely be dealing with an Earth sign, a Fire sign. Pisces, I have us right there smack in the middle of it with the Queen of Cups. Three of Wands. Wow. Okay. And judgment could definitely be dealing with a Scorpio here. Four of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Six of Wands, the Emperor. All right. Pisces, it feels like there is something here about the Wheel of Fortune turning in a situation. Pisces, you could have recently left the karmic situation or someone could be turning their back on a karmic situation here, right? The Wheel of Fortune is turned, right? That's changed. Things are always changing, right? I feel like there's an energy of um the will of fortune turning in a situation and something or someone being left in the past here right leaving some sort of karmic situation behind put yourself where you go when this baby sharks okay it is general but there is an energy of leaving some sort of karmic situation in the past i have the queen of cups here which could definitely be you pisces that is indicative of us but this is feminine energy someone who's definitely very uh psychic right empathic has a lot of empathy right emotionally mature and nurturing right i feel like this queen of cups is more more than likely in this energy the two of wands and the three of wands right or listen i have to be honest with you there could be some sort of karmic situation that has been left in the past coming back around because the two of wands is kind of like dominion right this is when you make a decision you know, you have the Ace of Wands, which is the new spark, and the Two of Wands is moving forward, right? Okay, now that the passion and the spark is here, how to move forward, right? And the Three of Wands is about manifestation. Okay, I've made some effort, some sort of move, and now I'm waiting for what the, for what effort I put in to manifest, right? I have to tell you, with judgment and under judgment, it's the Four of Wands here. There could be some sort of past situation here, some sort of karmic situation here, Pisces, that you have left in the past, or has eluded you in the past, it feels like it's coming back around with judgment and the four of wands. Someone is getting some sort of recognition with the queen of with the queen of pentacles and the six of wands underneath the deck. I feel like there's something here about a comic situation going on here, baby shark. Somebody is getting ready to leave. Either someone, I feel like someone is leaving a karmic situation in the past, right? They are. There's an energy of leaving, of the will of fortune turning. Something has changed. Or turn or happen in a situation, or it's just time for a situation to change here. And there's an energy of leaving some sort of karmic situation in the past. Someone definitely could be headed towards you, Pisces, with the two of wands, three of wands, judgment, and the four of wands. Someone could be coming back wanting a reunion, a reconciliation, or a second chance. There could also be an energy of coming back and giving someone some sort of record, 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 exact, rec, recognition. Sorry. <laughs> Someone could be coming back and wanting to give someone a recognition here for something that they did in the past or something that they gave in the past or some sort of effort that someone put in. 
there's definitely a feeling to me, Pisces, be the, I mean, just stay woke because however it's going, I feel like that the will of fortune has changed in the situation. For sure, something has changed. And I feel like something that either eluded you or some sort of common situation that you may have left in the past, Pisces, it could be getting ready to return to you with the two of wands, the three of wands. You could be getting ready to go back to someone. Someone could be getting ready to come back to you, put it where it goes. There's an energy of leaving something karmic in the past, something about this being destined and faded, right? The will of fortune has changed on the situation. Pisces, this could have been something that eluded you or you just felt like you were lacking or that you weren't going to have. But there is some sort of judgment coming in and there's some sort of offer to rebuild something with the Four of Wands or to build something here, right? The Four of Wands is a solid union and I feel like there's a solid union coming in with the Four of Wands and judgment. This could be somebody from the past coming back, Pisces, or this could be someone that but the timing was just never right, right? It could have been an issue where the timing was just never right, like karma, like destiny. The will of fortune just kept something from being just out of reach here. But it looks like there's a judgment coming in to re to to um to put some sort of work and effort into a union here. There's definitely a feminine energy that's that's getting a rec rec um recognition in this situation. Put yourself where you go when it, baby sharks. Let's clarify and see what I get for the will of fortune for Pisces. Why is the will of fortune here for Pisces? You could be dealing with the fixed sign, which is Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, or Taurus. Or it could be a Sagittarius as well. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? And I say that because those signs are literally on the card. The fixed signs are in each corner. The sun, there's that Leo. Some of you are definitely dealing with the Leo. But I feel like this is a blessing. I feel like the, yeah, or a Sag. Look, there's, there's Temperance. Major, major, major Arcanas. It feels like there's a blessing coming in. The Wheel of Fortune is turning on the situation. There's definitely some illumination, but I feel like there's also abundance coming in for sure. I feel like there's some sort of blessing that could have eluded you in some sort of way, Pisces. Some sort of karmic blessing that's coming back around after, after it's been eluded for someone here. Temperance. This could definitely be reunion and reconciliation. You could be dealing with the Sag. Yeah, someone was stubborn. Someone is healing from being stubborn. Someone could have been stuck in a karmic situation here. I feel like someone is healing from some sort of stuck, stubborn, car a karmic situation here for sure. With the moon, yep. Listen, the moon and the four wands. Here we go. You could definitely be dealing with the water sign, a Sag, an earth sign. But I feel like with the moon, the four wands, and the six of swords, there could definitely be an energy coming towards you to reconcile that you're not unaware of yet, that, that you don't know of yet, right? The moon could definitely be the shadow side of something. And you may not see this coming because this is this is intended to be predictive, Pisces. Why is the five of pentacles here? Five of pentacles is definitely leaving something in the cold, the hierophant. You could be dealing with the Taurus, another major. There could be some sort of karmic marriage that's ending here. There could be a karmic relationship that's ending here. Some of you are definitely dealing with a fixed sign, a Taurus, a Leo, a, Sag, uh, a Scorpio, or an Aquarius here. Look, page of Pentacles. There could definitely be a karmic marriage ending with children or something to that effect. But it feels like here with the Hierophant, because the Hierophant is about um doing things the traditional way, right? Having some sort of structure, having boundaries, like learning like life lessons in order to do something a traditional way, right? And you and some something could have eluded someone here. Some uh, someone could have been something could have been out of reach for someone here. Because of some traditional ways here, there could have been some sort of karmic relationship, karmic marriage here. Someone could have been left in the cold because of karmic behavior and they had to learn some sort of karmic lessons here. But I feel like now there's a plan here, the Page of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, King of Cups. There's definitely a masculine energy here, Pisces, put it where it goes. But I feel like there's a masculine energy here that's definitely strategizing, right? But someone could have been a bit, someone could have had to learn some karmic lessons from being emotionally manipulative or someone is planning something here, King of Cups. They're making some sort of plans and they're doing it strategically, but they're doing this silently as well. Could definitely be dealing with a fire sign or an Aquarius here. Why is the Queen of Cups here for Pisces? It's in this predictably for love about what's coming towards us. Why is the Queen of Cups here? I feel like this is us, Pisces. We are the Queen of Cups. Temperance in the Four of Pentacles. <laughs> and the Nine of Wands. See, I feel like, Pisces, someone could definitely be coming towards you. Or you them, put it where it goes. I feel like someone is definitely 
waiting for the right time with temperance, patience, and divine time. It also feels like a reunion and a reconciliation. I feel like someone is healing from being very stubborn, right? Someone could be someone could have had to hold back because they had to heal, right? Someone could have definitely someone could definitely be trying to get out of a karmic situation here, right? Or Pisces, you did this, right? You got out of a karmic situation. And someone could definitely be coming back to to um to want to reunite with you. Put yourself where you go. But with the nine of wands here, I know there's a wounded warrior. You definitely could be dealing with the sag. Yep, someone is wounded and someone is strategizing. There's a masculine energy here. I feel like with the masculine, because here's the queen, here's the king. I feel like there's a masculine energy here that's strategizing because there's been something. There's been something that hurt here. Right? There's a masculine energy that's really hot and heavy, wants to rush in, but having to temper himself. Because there's something about patience and divine timing. It's also something about healing here. You could definitely be dealing with the star, but there could definitely be like um wish fulfillment. There's a depth that, yeah, the magician, the seven of pentacles. I feel like there's a masculine energy having to hold back, but definitely wanting to come towards a feminine energy here. I feel like he's, a, he's hot and heavy, but he's having to temper himself. Why is the two of wands here? Why is the two of wands here for Pisces? This is after the ace of wands. So the spark is already there. It's just the two of wands is about taking some sort of action. Like what's what's next? See, ace of cups. Oh. <laughs> Prince, uh, the queen of pentacles. I feel like this is the same queen of pentacles that's under the deck here with the judgment, right? Someone definitely wants to work on something with the queen of pentacles. I feel like someone is coming towards a feminine energy here with the offer. Yeah, they see someone the soulmates here. Two of Cups. Someone definitely, be, someone definitely is ready to come towards their soulmate here and offer something in the form of stability. With the Eight of Swords under here, someone could have definitely, could definitely be trapped either in a karmic marriage. Someone could definitely be in prison, or someone is just has been really stuck about this. Whatever the Eight of Swords is, whatever someone was stuck in with strength under here, someone is definitely trying to press through and persevere. Now, someone has to take an action to sever something here, and it has something to do with someone coming towards you or you them with an Ace of Cups here. Someone is definitely tempering themselves because there's a karmic situation or some sort of karmic cycle that's ending. Someone is definitely enlightened. Someone has definitely learned some life lessons, some, some life lessons here. Why is the three of wands here? Why is the three of wands here for Pisces? The page of pentacles. See, that's their planning. That's someone definitely planning to take action. If someone is manifesting a new beginning here, I feel like someone is definitely trying to manifest something that's going to be stable and abundant. They could definitely be having to save up their coins. The devil. You could definitely be dealing with the Capricorn. Ah, oh, but see, there's a King of Swords here. See, there's a masculine energy. I feel like in a situation, Pisces put it where it goes. There could be a masculine energy that is dealing with this devil energy, right? There could be a masculine energy that's going through some toxicity, some fear. So a masculine energy feeling extremely trapped right now, right? I feel like that this masculine energy is the one that's planning. You could definitely be dealing with an Aquarius or uh, a Capricorn here. I'm sorry, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or Capricorn. The lovers, it could definitely be a Gemini here. Someone could definitely be, someone could have definitely been in another toxic karmic relationship here and now having a plan, right? But with the strength and the Ten of Swords, yep. Could definitely be dealing with the Leo. Someone is definitely persevering persever and bringing some sort of ending to a painful cycle. And there's that will of fortune. See, that's where we all started. Karma. Something about, someone, something about this is karmic. Karmic, destined, or faded here. But what's coming in is that Ace of Wands. I told you. There's there's some sort of new beginning happening coming here. And it's because some sort of karmic cycle is ending. So there's definitely, with the Wheel of Fortune and the Five of Pentacles, there's a karmic cycle that's getting ready to be left out in the cold. Put yourself where you go in this Pisces. You could be leaving something out in the cold and moving in a new direction. Or, you, or someone is coming towards you after leaving a karmic situation. You'll just have to let me know how it goes. But if the messages resonate, Pisces, yeah. Pisces, you are dealing, <laughs> yeah, look at this, Six of Pentacles, the Hermit and the High Priestess. That's my silent couple. Pisces, there's something going on here with the masculine and the feminine energy. The, this is my silent couple, but these are two people that may not be speaking in 3D, but they communicate in 5D. These, these are people that are spiritually connected. They are a spiritual couple. There's something going on here with the karmic cycle, Pisces, with you and, and a soulmate, you have to put yourself where you go, but I see that there's some sort of karmic shift that's happening here. If the messages resonate, give me the like, comment, subscribe, and share. Please comment. I love to read you guys' comments. If you're interested in booking me, reach out for me via email. I love you, baby. Shires, continue to take care of yourselves and stay beautiful. Bye-bye.